So we're gonna go through the kind of longer but more recognizable way first, and then we'll show the shortcut at the end. So what I would do is remember that when we have uh, something in parentheses, they're saying that's our X. So we can say, okay, well, G of K is just gonna be C times D raised to the K. And they're saying this is gonna be equal to M, correct? And then the value of G of K plus one is 18% less than the value of M. It's the same thing. We're just uh, substituting in for our X, K plus one. And then this is going to be equal to 18% less than M. Remember, if I subtract 18%, I'll have 82% left. So we can do a little bit of algebra rules here. Um, when it's D to the K plus one, all they're saying is that's D raised to the K times D raised to the one, because when I multiply bases, I add exponents. And uh, this is going to be equal to 0.82M. And then I have two equations with M and they want us to solve for D. So if I can get both of my equations to equal M, then I can substitute the other one in. So if I divide both sides by 0.82, divide by 0.82, that crosses off. And now this is equal to M, this is equal to M, and you see that we have a lot of like terms. So we'll probably be able to cancel stuff out. So I write my top equation to the K. That's going to be equal to C times D to the K times D to the first over 0.82. And our goal was realized because now we can cross off the C's on both sides, the DK's on both sides. There's that one there. And since we want to solve for D, I just multiply both sides by 0.82, by 0.82. That crosses off and we get D is equal to 0.82, which is going to be answer choice D here. Now for that little shortcut that I mentioned, um, it can be a little bit jarring. That's why I like knowing how to do it this way just in case. But uh, to go over it real quick, uh, this is going to be an exponential rule. Anytime that you have an exponential function and you're plugging in like a G of K plus one, K plus two, all they're actually doing, remember uh, the rule that we used right here where it was K plus one, it was D to the K and then just an additional D to the one. Well, that's what K plus one does. All it's doing is each plus one is adding an additional or I guess multiplying an additional D. So K plus two would be D to the K times d to the first times d to the first, right? So our little shortcut here is g of k is equal to m. So g of k plus one is gonna be equal to m times d because there's that extra d. They're also saying that g of k plus one is equal to 18% less than m, which is 0.82m. Cross off your m's and you get d is equal to 0.82. So if that's jarring, it's fine. We have our other method. Either way, we get d here.